Hello everyone, this is Dr. Abhinav and uh, in this video today we will be discussing about the ESIC IMO exam, the most important topics needed to be studied for the exam. Now I have made this topics basically after reviewing the previous year questions, few of the papers and uh, we expect to have some questions based on that paper and uh, that is exactly why I have made this uh, high yield topics. So this topics uh in this topics we'll be needing to focus more and uh, if you can it is better to study all the topics but in case at the most if you cannot study all these topics then at, uh, you cannot study all the topics then at least you will have to study these topics because these are very important topics and uh, this could yield you some uh, extra marks helping you to get a better rank so before we go into the topic if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and uh, join at our uh, join us at our uh, telegram and uh, instagram groups also the link is in bio we'll also discuss about the expected topics in our telegram group and uh, in youtube as well so make sure you joined and uh, you do not miss any of them now let's start so First, we will see about the important topics in medicine. First, you will have to, in medicine, you will have to know about the coronary artery diseases, the angina, stable angina, unstable angina, all those things, and uh, the detection of, you will have, you'll be able to diagnose what type of uh, MI is it, ST elevation or non ST elevation, and importantly, the management. And uh, you will also need to know about the ECG changes regarding the coronary artery disease. You will also need to study about the electrolyte imbalances in medicine, hyponatremia, hyperkalemia, all those things, and uh, how will you manage. Then stroke localization syndromes, the Weber syndrome, Parinat syndrome, and uh, you should know what types of, what are the clinical features seen in each of the syndromes. Then TB, TB newer uh, drugs more in the pharmacology side, and the GINA and GOLD guidelines, which are uh, guidelines for COPD and asthma. Then uh, AKI and CKD, the uh, diagnostic test, the urine, sodium, urine osmolality, all those things, and the rifle criteria, and uh, diagnosing AKI, those kind of things. And hepatitis B, the serological markers, diabetes man man management, the oral hypoglycemic agents, DKA management, and uh, more importantly, many uh, nowadays many are using the SGLT2 inhibitors, so it is important to know about it also. Then HIV and co 